1938, all Jewish children were banned from attending German schools. However, this did not happen all at once. Discrimination and isolation within education was gradual. Education was used as a major tool to promote the Nazi ideology. The consequences of the war for me is my whole life since then has been devoted to reading and learning. Did not one day of my life has gone by that I have not thought of the war. It's tragic, it's idiotic, but that's the fact. Well, again, the Germans are very, the Nazis were very clever. And they knew they worried about German opposition of the German people, the non-Jews in Germany. And so uh, one of the first things they did uh, in order to reduce the number of uh, Jewish children in schools was to, to point out overcrowding. They set up a figure, all right, in the classrooms or in a particular school, and that maybe the school could accommodate 300, 400 students, and oh, but we're getting above that level. That affects the quality of education of all the other students. We've got to reduce the number of students. So who did you eliminate? The Jews, all right? So it started on that, in that way. Uh, so some Jews for the first couple of years of the Nazi regime, January 1933 is when it gets into power, uh, some Jews were able to continue their education. By 37, or maybe it was 38, they are outlawed completely from... One of the first things the Nazi state did was to take education. They knew that's one thing they had to do. They wanted to train a new generation of young people who would think like them. They maybe overlooked it or rationalized, shall we say? You know, people rationalize. Uh, they didn't want to do anything to uh, endanger themselves or their children. They wanted their children the non-Jews to be able to attend the schools to get a good education and the like. But the Nazis looked upon education as indoctrination. All right, now, all societies indoctrinate the children in schools to a certain extent. The schools are a major place to do it. And the German, the Nazis, realized that. And of course, they concentrated on the schools. They were turned out people thinking their way. They didn't want people to doubt Nazi propaganda. Pakistan has been described as being among the world's worst performing countries in education. Nearly 22.5 million children are out of school. Girls are especially affected. 32% of primary school aged girls are out of school. By sixth grade, 59% of girls no longer attend school. understand that that's not easy, that women and children are not treated the same way in other countries. Well, um, ch I see children having uh, this quality education, having all the facilities, classrooms, science labs, but unfortunately around this world there are countries where children do not even have desks to, to sit and they do not even have chairs, do, some do not even have teachers in their schools and some do not even have schools at all. And I really think that education helps you to get an identity. Uh, it helps you to know about your basic human rights. It helps you to discover about yourself, about your talents, about your skills and how you can help your community and your society. So I did not want to, to, to be deprived of that, of that opportunity myself and I want this for every child, that no child should be deprived of the basic human right of education.